So a lot of people come into my chat and they always ask me, what are those little characters dancing at the bottom of your screen? So today I'm gonna to take you through the setup of how to set up stream avatars for your Twitch stream. So let's get into it. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the Steam store and you're gonna search up in the search bar, stream avatars, and it's gonna come up right here. Stream avatars, it is 15 bucks, but I think it's worth it. Every single person that's come into my stream has really, really enjoyed it and gotten a lot out of it. So you buy it for 15 bucks, download it, and then you're gonna open it up on your desktop and here's what it's gonna look like. So right off the bat, it's gonna look like it's really, really overwhelming. And in some ways it is. You can do a lot of stuff with stream avatars. I use it for very minimal. So I'm gonna take you through a very minimal, bare bones. This is how you set it up, get it connected to your stream and get things going. So you can see right here, we're in the general tab. You can control a ton of different things in this tab from the window settings, avatar settings, events. You can look at the data of all of your avatars and everything, everyone who's ever used it. So there's a lot that you can go through here and I'm gonna potentially do this in a different video, but this is just the tab that we're opened up to. So you're gonna go to your login details and this is the very important part. You need to put your streaming platform so it knows where to connect to. And then you also need to authenticate your channel and also your bot authentication as well, which can be your exact same channel. So you can just do the exact same thing you did for your channel authentication. So the channel authentication is very, very simple. You just click and you follow the steps as it takes you through. It'll authenticate your Twitch channel or wherever you're streaming to's channel. And then from there, you do the exact same thing for your bot authentication. And when the two green check marks show up, you are good to go and you are connected. So once you've gone through this, you can then look at these other tabs. I'm gonna go over a few of them because some are very, very important and others I just have never used before. So after you authenticate your channel, you can go down to the Steam Workshop. This is super important because this allows you to choose what avatars you want downloaded and appearing on your stream. For me personally, I have all the Dragon Ball Z characters. Everybody absolutely loves it. I'm a big anime fan, but you can get everything from Pokemon to little blobs to Kirby. There's the Dragon Ball Z guys, One Piece, Among Us characters. Like there are so many different options here. You could spend hours looking through and figuring out what works best for your stream. So take some time, check out which avatars you want. So the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do for the stream avatars is you're going to want to toggle the viewer spawning. This is very, very important because a lot of people have a lot of different preferences when it comes to this. So who can spawn right here on a viewer spawning? I say everybody, it doesn't matter if you're lurking in my channel or not. I never call out people in my channel. And if your stream avatar pops up there, like I'm never gonna look at it and be like, oh, there's so-and-so in chat, why aren't you talking? Like everyone is just in there. You can change that to followers, subscribers, whitelisted, whatever you want. And then uh, people in chat, or you can do active chatters, which is just those people who are currently chatting in your chat can have their avatar up there, which could give people a little bit of incentive to continually chat. So that's completely up to you. I have the limit of viewers spawning at 40 because if you get a raid or something and there's a lot of avatars in the stream, it just starts to get a little bit unruly and out of control. So I have mine set at 40. That seems to be a good number for me. And then as far as enabled avatars, I have everything selected. And then as the viewer despawn timer, you despawn after 360 seconds of being inactive. So you're not stuck on the screen, so to speak. So that's what I have set up for the viewer spawning. And then in terms of window settings, uh, you can make it the resolution of your monitor. So it'll fit or it'll shrink as you go down. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and it's always open on this monitor. So that's gonna be very, very important for when you connect because you have to have stream avatars open on a monitor for it to appear on your stream. The last thing we're gonna go over here before we end up connecting this to our stream is avatar settings. I'll let you scroll through here and see pretty much what you can do, but it's all personal preference. You can set the sounds that the avatars make. There's different costs of things. You can look up um, sounds you want, sounds you don't want. You can do all kinds of stuff here, but pretty much this is controlling what your avatars do. So go through here, check it out. It's all personal preference. These are your avatars, so you can make it work however you would like to. So now we're gonna connect our stream avatars to our streaming software and our Twitch. So you're gonna go down here, hit the plus icon, add a game capture. Since I already have mine here, it says stream avatars. You're gonna hit game capture, stream avatars, display certain window, and then you're going to select streamavatars.exe, and then it will display that window on your stream software. So I'm gonna hit add that source. It's gonna be here for right now. Then we're gonna connect everything and things will start showing up. So now we're gonna hit connect on stream avatars. And once we do that, 
our stream avatars will start dancing around the screen in the window that is selected. All right, guys, that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned how to set up stream avatars all on your own. If you have any questions about it, leave them down in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like, follow, subscribe, and bell notification so you can know when I'm making new content. If you want to come check me out over on Twitch, I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 Eastern. And until next time, I'll see you then.